Begin. Is this? Yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, could I have your attention, please? Madame la ministre de l'Education Supérieure, Madame la députée de Hall, Monsieur le Président et membre du Conseil d'administration, Monsieur le Président et membre de la Fondation du Cégep Paritage, nous avons aussi avec nous trois conseillers municipaux, Madame Affalon, Monsieur Blondin et Monsieur Duggan. Chers invités, collègues, staff, students, and friends of Heritage, welcome. This is indeed a very exciting day. We're very pleased to have everybody with us to celebrate the new wing, the new construction project. Bienvenue au Cégep Paritage College. Nous sommes heureux de vous accueillir à notre bel établissement pour cette célébration. I'm Michael Randall. Je suis directeur général du Cégep Paritage College. Comme vous voyez, on fait ça de façon very bilingual. C'est notre marque de commerce ici. Our original college facilities were built in 1994, and they were based on a Devi academic of 800. Since 1994, enrollment at Heritage has increased significantly, along with the growing population of the Udawet. Last April, the ministry announced an $11.9 million expansion project to expand and to upgrade our facilities. We now have a new two-story wing consisting of 14 classrooms and labs, an expanded library and sports facilities, a high-tech, high-definition nursing lab, and a new student lounge. We are honored to have so many people here with us today to celebrate this milestone in the life of Cégep Heritage College. It's an inauguration of our new wing and the various internal renovations that have been done on time and on budget. Yay. Cette inauguration est une étape importante pour toute la région de l'Outaouais, pas seulement pour la communauté du Cégep Heritage, parce que nous ne sommes pas seulement le Collège des Anglo, mais bien un Cégep public ouvert à toutes et tous. As I just mentioned, Heritage was built originally for 800 students, and we surpassed that mark over five years ago. We currently have 1,200 students, so it's more than timely that we be able to offer adequate space for our students, space that will ensure that we can live up to our ambitions and to our responsibility to offer first-class post-secondary education at our Gatineau and our Campbell's Bay campuses in the English language. As you know, as many as 2,600 students cross the river every day to attend either an English or a French-speaking institution in Ontario. The goal is to keep our students on this side of the river, and this expansion will enable us, enable us to better serve both our current and our future students. I would also like to take the opportunity to announce that Cégep Heritage College will be offering a new deck program starting in September 2017, Special Care Counseling, l'Education Spécialisée. The expansion and our new programming will allow us to better address the need for English education in the Udawe and will help attract new families and new businesses to the area because they'll have better access to a quality post-secondary education that responds to their needs. J'aimerais maintenant souligner l'effort de ceux et celles qui ont participé à la réalisation du projet. Un merci bien spécial à notre directeur de service des ressources matérielles, M. Donald Marlowe, qui a été le correspondant du collège auprès du ministère et qui a travaillé d'arrache-pied dans ce dossier depuis déjà trois ans. Also in attendance with us, I hope she's here. Is Louise Brunet here? Well, I'll mention her anyway. Our former director general, Madame Louise Brunet, 
It was under her direction that this project was first initiated. Mais je tiens surtout à remercier la ministre, Madame, Madame, Madame Hélène David, pour sa présence avec nous aujourd'hui, cet après-midi. Nous apprécions grandement son appui à notre cégep. In fact, we have not had a Minister of Education in this building since 1994. J'aimerais aussi souligner l'appui indispensable que nous avons reçu de notre députée, Mme Marise Gaudreau. On peut toujours compter sur Mme Gaudreau pour défendre les intérêts de l'Outaouais. Thank you, Marise, for your positive energy and your continued support of Heritage College. J'aimerais aussi remercier le dirigeant de la ferme d'architecture du projet, M. Luc Fortin, ainsi que la représentante de construction, J. Raymond, Mme Marie-Claude Doucet, et ses collègues, Pierrot Bergeron et Steve Brady. Merci pour votre bel tra bel beau travail d'équipe. On a aussi parmi nous l'équipe de CIMA+, Daniel Rabi et Francis Landry. Without the cooperation of these dedicated individuals, this project would never have been successfully completed. We should also add, in terms of economics, this project represented thousands and thousands of man hours of, of work. And now I'd like to call upon the, uh, the president, the, the chair of our Conseil d'administration, Mr. Roy Bonin, qui va nous adresser la parole. Merci, Michael. Chers invités distingués, Friends of Cégep Heritage College. Comme Michael vient de nous dire, nous avons avec nous cet après-midi les représentants des firmes d'architectes, d'ingénierie et de la construction. Si je leur posais la question, qu'est-ce qui est requis pour bien réussir un beau projet comme le nôtre? Je suis sûr qu'il soulignera que cela prend de l'expertise, un plan et les outils efficaces et à la fin de point de la technologie des métiers. Heritage College students are extremely well served by an excellent administrative team, teachers expert in the knowledge of their subjects and the pedagogy appropriate to teach them, as well as by dedicated and hardworking support personnel. Our CEGEP, however, as Michael has mentioned, has grown and continues to do so. So the tools they require to succeed in their efforts equipment and space had become inadequate to meet the demand. C'est pourquoi, au nom du Conseil d'administration, j'aimerais remercier le gouvernement du Québec et surtout reconnaître les efforts, les efforts de notre députée, Mme Marise Gaudreau, d'avoir investi dans les outils nécessaires, l'équipement, l'espace et un nouveau programme qui est essentiel pour avancer le projet de l'éducation de nos étudiantes et nos étudiants. Je peux vous assurer que cet investissement de l'argent des contribuables rapportera des retombées, pas seulement pour la ville de Gatineau, ni pour la région de l'Outaouais, mais pour le Québec entier. Merci. I'd like now to ask Sabrina Hakizimena, representing our student council, to say a few words. establishment that is concerned about the learning environment of its student body. This expansion demonstrates just how much the school cares about our wants and needs and it is more than satisfying to be a part of such an amazing institution. As well as providing the students with many opportunities, certain aspects of the construction have gone a long way in improving education and integration at the college. In particular, the new student lounge where first year students can interact and get acquainted with college life. Not to mention, modernized technology has now been made available, and which means that not to mention modernized technology has now been made available, and software has now been um, <laughs> classrooms have grown in numbers, which means less overcrowding and more productive to learning. 
Last but certainly not least, the renovation of the fitness center has proven to be an incentive to stay active. Some of my friends are already motivated to start using the fitness room. Overall, these new features of the school contribute to an encouraging educational atmosphere. There is no doubt that the current Heritage students appreciate this grand gesture as the future students of Heritage College will. Thank you to all those who made this expansion possible. Thank you very much, Sabrina. It's very important that we hear from our students about this because in the end, it's about the students. That's why we expanded the college, is to improve things for them. It's now a great pleasure for me, d'un grand honneur, de demander à notre ministre de l'Éducation supérieure du Québec, Madame Hélène David, de venir nous adresser la parole. Madame David. Bonjour tout le monde. Hi everybody. Are you happy to be part of this community? The, it's a beautiful community. We can feel that people are really, really happy, Monsieur le Directeur Général, Monsieur le Directeur de la CESO, distingué membre du Conseil d'administration de la Fondation. Hi everybody. I know it's a new year starting now, and I was. I noticed something. There was a security guard over there, upstairs. I'm a psychologist, you know. And he was a saying something. So that means something. If even the security guard is applauding, it's a great, great sign of this wonderful community. So yes, many, many things are happening here. A lot of money coming in. We love Ottawa region. We love all the colleges and universities, but College Heritage has something special. We can feel it and we can feel, you know, that it's very important for you to have a lot of French speaking students too, to have probably teachers also who speak French and to have a community, you know, that welcome all people. I hope even from Ontario on the other side of the board, we don't, I don't know. Je suis très, très, très heureuse. Nous avons fait des, euh, nous avons donné l'argent nécessaire pour faire des nouvelles constructions, des nouvelles classes, nouvel équipement. And you will launch a new technique d'éducation spécialisée. That means, you know, that you are really alive and you are increasing year after year the number of students that's a great 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 sign so i'm the the only minister who have been here for the past 23 years i think 23 years so i'm very happy and it won't be the last time i promise you i will be back so thank you very very much and happy new year Merci beaucoup, Madame David. And actually, uh, the minister touched on something very important. Uh, yes, of course, we welcome French-speaking students here, and we support bilingualism and promotion of French within our institution as well, which is very important. That's part of the puzzle of keeping our students on this side of the river in Quebec. But we also want to attract students from outside of Quebec and even outside of Canada. And actually, this semester, for the first time, we have two students from France who are studying here. And it's one of our projects to attract students from France because they want to learn English, but they also want to come to an institution where French is not a foreign language. So we're doing our bit as well to attract new citizens to the province of Quebec. I also want to thank a few other people for being with us today. Nos bons voisins à côté. We've got Frédéric Poulain and we've got uh, Monsieur Norman Sylvestre, who is the President du Conseil d'administration de Cégep de One of the things we have going for us in the Utawa is we get along well with our neighbors and we work together. And so that's very important. We also have Monsieur Bernard Tremblay, the President Director General de la Fédération de Cégep is with us today as well. Um, and I know there are other people that uh, have come and to show their support and we'd like to thank you for your presence. And now, the official opening ceremony will occur down in the new wing. We'll cut the ribbon. There is a vin d'honneur, non alcoholic, being served down in the new wing. And we'll give tours to anybody who would like to see the facilities. So again, thank you very much. Merci beaucoup d'être parmi nous aujourd'hui. It's a real pleasure to see all of you. Okay, Madame David veut reprendre la parole.
Excuse me, because I forgot some very, very important people who are here. I wasn't told that Bernard Tremblay is there. So Bernard is very, very important for all the CGEP and College of Quebec. And also the, your predecessor, Madame, Madame. Alors, bienvenue, bienvenue. Alors, bravo pour tout ce que vous avez fait pour le Collège Héritage. Merci beaucoup. Alors, merci beaucoup. Why don't you follow us down the hall?